just a quick overview of the potential integrations with Python for Delphi. Uh, it goes both directions, both Delphi being able to run Python and Python being able to use Delphi. So here's an example of Delphi running Python. Um, the configuration here, this is a, a synetic component and these components, these non-visual components here are what set up the syntax highlighting. Um, these are the ones that provide the Python integration. So the Python engine is what points to the Python DLL. So you can actually tell it to um, use last known version, or you can point to the specific version of the DLL. The GUI input output is what gives it the ability that when the script runs to display it down at the bottom uh, in this memo here. And then Python module is what gives the ability for Delphi code, which I can go in here and show you to um, pass be passed into Python. So uh, this right here, we're creating using wrap del or Python Delphi wrapper, which is the other component on the form to wrap form one. Now form one is this form. Now, if you're not familiar with Delphi, uh, Delphi makes it really easy to build visual user interfaces and this native code compilation. Uh, form one is this form. And so what we're doing is wrapping form one and then passing it in as a called Delphi form to the Python engine. Okay. So, uh, and then these are actually non-visual components, which I can hide here. Uh, here's the code that's going to run. So I'll go ahead and run this. And so from Delphi module import Delphi form. So Delphi form, remember, is form one, which is the form that this is running on. Uh, and we're going to just print out the caption of the form, which is right there, change it to hello from Python, and then we're going to take the button and do the same thing, except also resize it. So I click the button here, and the changes are made immediately. So uh, an example of Delphi, both, the, both Delphi running Python, but also the Python then in turn being able to access the form that Delphi is running on. Very cool. So this gives you the ability, this could be editable by your users, or it could be uh, in, completely embedded in the Delphi code or a separate file or whatever, but shows you how Delphi can run Python. The Python could be invoking Python libraries. You could actually run the Python libraries directly if you wanted to. And you can also uh, shows how that it can then come back and modify the form. Now, the other use case, and this would be for the plain Python developer that isn't using Delphi at all. And so what this is going to do is going to create a Python module and it's using wrap Delphi VCL, which is going to wrap all of, um, actually, if we go in here and look at this, it might be the easiest. It wraps all the types, classes, windows, controls, graphics, forms, da, 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 right? So everything and turns it all into a single Python module and then publishes it for Python. So I have a sample project here that's already built. Uh, here's some Python code that will X, uh, use this. So it's importing from Delphi VCL, which is the name of the module, everything. And then here we're creating a form. Okay. And then we're putting a label on the form, setting the caption of the label. The label has a parent and that is the, uh, where the form, where the label lives. And then the, oh, and then the self that's passed in here is the owner. So the idea is that when the form is freed, um, right here, uh, Oh, you don't have that on here. So, well, they, when the application closes, technically we should be freeing the form, but we're not. <laughs> uh, when the application closes, though, it takes care of it. The um, right here, we're at creating an edit, setting the properties on it, and then a button. And on the button, we're adding a event handler. So when the button is clicked, this event handler is called here, which just takes the contents of the edit box, adds it to the list box, and then clears the edit box. So here's the code. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And here is the form. So this is a VCL form, a Delphi VCL form, but it's completely made by Python. And add to the list. So there we go. Um, basically what this does is it turns Delphi VCL, which is a native widgets library, native Windows widgets library, into a library for building Python GUIs. Now, Delphi, if you're not familiar, does also include FireMonkey, which is a cross-platform widgets library, which would let you build uh, applications for Windows, Mac OS, uh, Android, and Linux. Technically, FireMonkey does iOS as well, but as far as I know, there's no way to run Python on iOS.